Scotland's fourth bridges are the wonder of the modern world. First the fourth rail bridge, then fourth road bridge, now Queen's Ferry Crossing has been added as the third extraordinary engineering icon to cross the Firth of Forth in Scotland. Among three bridges, the first completed in the 19th century, the second in the 20th and the latest in the 21st century, towering side by side over the Firth of Forth, these structures represent the pinnacle of engineering excellence of individual era. Here, let's have a look on those time and discover how each one exhibits the engineering pinnacle of their day. There was no fixed crossing route until establishment of a ferry service by Margaret Queen of Scotland to take travellers north to St Andrews in the 12th century. Now very nearly 1,000 years after the fact, the three crossing structures have made a significant piece of Scotland's transport framework. The ferry remained the best way to cross the Forth until the Victoria time, when the fast development of the railroads turned into the impetus for a perpetual crossing. The construction of the bridge resulted in an unbroken East Coast railway route from London to Aberdeen. The 1.55 mile span has bridged an unbroken East Coast railway route from London to Aberdeen and dramatically reduced the rail travel from 13 to 8 and a half hours. The bridge is the world's first major steel structure completed in 1890 represents a key milestone in the history of modern railway civil engineering and in 2016 was voted the country's greatest man-made wonder. Still it holds the record as the world's longest cantilever bridge. The fourth railway bridge took seven years to construct and the workforce was vast up to 4,000 men at a time 57 lost their lives. The bridge was the first major structure in Britain to be constructed from cast iron, designed by Benjamin Baker and Sir John Fowler. The bridge is a great example of cantilevers as the most effective means of constructing long spans. The pair famously demonstrated this cantilever and central girder principle with the human cantilever at a lecture to the Royal Institution in London in 1887, 521 meter span was almost four times as large as any railway bridge previously built in the United Kingdom. Construction of the fourth bridge posed immense challenges. A structure like this needs constant maintenance, so it's no surprise it's become part of the expression painting the fourth bridge referring to a never-ending task. By the time you finish at one end it's time to start over again at the other. The total painted area is 230,000 square meters, requiring 240,000 liters of paint. The highest point of the fourth bridge stands 110 meters above high water and 137 meters above its foundations. In total 50,000 tons of steel were used in the superstructure, held together with over 6,500,000 rivets. When it opened in 1890 the fourth bridge had the world's longest single cantilever span. It is still in operation and now carries 200 trains every day and carrying 3 million passengers each year. In 2015, the bridge was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site at its meeting in Bonn, Germany. This prestigious cultural accolade is a fitting way to celebrate the 125th anniversary and remains one of the most recognizable structures in the world today. The rail bridge was the sole crossing over the fourth for the next 70 years, but due to rise of different form of transport, the car, that prompted the development of a second bridge. The first proposals for a bridge were aired in 1923 and won the support of the Ministry of Transport the following year. 
three possible sites for a road bridge, as well as tunnel options, were investigated but the Great Depression and Second World War postponed positive progress until 1947, when the fourth road bridge order established Macintosh Rock as the site for the new road bridge. In 1950, the construction on a crossing actually began. The bridge joint board oversaw construction which began in September 1958. Freeman Fox and partners and Mrs. Mott, Hay and Anderson, oversaw the design and supervised construction, which was carried out by Britain's three largest construction engineering firms, Sir William Arrow & Company, the Cleveland Bridge and Engineering Company and Dorman Long Limited joining forces to create a consortium known as the SED Bridge Company Limited. Like its older sister, the Fourth Road Bridge is itself a cutting-edge piece of engineering. The suspension bridge was the largest in Europe when it completed and including its approach stretches for over a mile and a half. The 1,006 meter main span is supported by two of 59 centimeters thin main cables, each made up of 11,618 wires. In total 30,800 miles of wires were aerially spun back and forth across the estuary, to build up the main cable using a method, that was new in Europe. Nearly 40,000 tons of steel and 125,000 cubic meters of concrete went into the construction area. The final bill for construction amounted to 19.5 million pounds. And the bridge was opened on the 4th of September of 1964 by Her Majesty the Queen. The towers of the bridge was strengthened, and the 768 hanger ropes being replaced 2000. In the 1990 due to corrosion and increasing traffic loads, a significant investment was planned. In 2007 a new bridge was commissioned, and billed as the largest Scottish construction project in a generation. This new bridge, named the Queen's Ferry Crossing, now stands proudly alongside its illustrious neighbours. The structure spans other striking piece of engineering is the 210 metre tallest bridge in the UK and 1.7 miles longest three tower cable stayed bridge in the world. It largely replaces the existing road bridge, is expected to carry 24 million vehicles each year, and will remain open in all weathers. Learning from the previous bridge, the Queen's Ferry Crossing has been designed with longevity in mind. Principal contractor fourth crossing bridge constructors comprising Germany, American Bridge, Dragados, Spain and Morrison, Scotland and its subcontractors used more than 10 million man-hours in completing the project. Over 23,000 miles of cabling will have been used on the bridge, which is almost the same distance as the circumference of the Earth at the equator, 24,874 miles. One of the key facts for the design is that, each of the individual cables can be replaced as part of the bridge's regular maintenance, and significantly this process can take place without having to close the bridge to traffic. The structure is a double world record breaker. The 322-metre cantilevers were certified by the Guinness Book of Received Orders as the longest cantilevers ever built. Remarkably, this vast construction project, that was built in extremely challenging site conditions over 200 metres above the surface of the fourth, was completed £250 million under budget. Now, it proudly stands alongside Fourth Road Bridge and the Rail Bridge showing the outstanding visual demonstration of three centuries engineering excellence. If you enjoyed this video please subscribe.